There has been lots of interplay twixt man, animals, plants, and microbes. This has been done through the domestication process. This started when we were hunter-gatherers, and it continues up till today. Domestication played a big role in the transition of mankind as we moved from hunter-gatherer to food producer. <laughs> How we produced food would become intertwined with the ongoing process of domestication. Prior to becoming a food producer, we were we were dependent. What were we dependent on? We were dependent on the whims of the natural world. The natural world can become quite the hostile place on occasion, as we have seen recently. Tsunamis, volcanoes, drought, flooding. Domestication played a big role in the reduction of chance as a major factor in the plight of mankind. Key plants and animals played crucial roles in this transition. Animal and plant transplantation, transplantation was critical for the transition. For example, the walnut got to Britain the tomato got to Italy, the potato got to Ireland, horses and cattle got to the Americas. Hmm, how did that happen? Things to talk about. Agriculture yielded more food. More food means more people. More people means stronger, more powerful nations. Even more people, though, he holds more strain on the food supply. This impacts the water supply, too. Uh-oh. So this disease begins to proliferate. Hmm. Lots of difficulties. Lots of difficulties. So first we want to take a peek at the human domesticate interaction specifically of the time frame of the last 10,000 years. 10,000 years ago starts the Neolithic period. Neo means new. Lithic means stone. The new stone age starts 10,000 years ago. The Neolithic was on the tail end of the last ice age. Glaciers were now in full retreat. And this is my sketch of the Sahara Desert in Africa. It's in red here, the Sahara Desert. Here's the Mediterranean, Spain, North Africa, and the Sahara in red. The green area over here is referred to as the Sub-Sahara. Sahara, Sub-Sahara. Sahara by the end of the Mesolithic period, which started 20,000 years ago, ended 10,000 years ago, <coughs> by the end of the Mesolithic period, mankind had spread from the Sub-Sahara to every continent of the world. Well, <laughs> except the South Pole, Antarctica. Well, I want to keep these videos short, so we'll stop for now. More is coming, though. Thanks for watching, and so long from Hoboken Gear. It's been fun. Bye-bye.